Hi, this is Paul from paulrabby.com and this is an analysis on West Mining Core, but more importantly on the gold sector itself, uh, mainly gold. Uh, that, so part of this, um, in the content below this video, is all of this information on the company, on gold itself. There's lots of fundamentals here. Really, really important information when you're trying to look into invest into a junior gold miner. So I would suggest you go onto this link and have a, a look. But this is some really great um, correlations and things like that uh, with gold right here. So first of all, I want to look at gold. I want to look at the trend of gold. I want to look back to 2017, the lows here. Uh, and then we were range brown 2017, 2018. Uh, we tested that lows and formed this um, support zone. And then we started to move up. We tested the top end of this range again. We pulled down on an Elliott wave two, and then we pushed through. This is where we really started trending in 2019 with gold. So really Elliott waves there to, uh, to measure really in a consistent way. Uh, what uh, you know trends behavior is like and this gold on the weekly time frame is trending and the behavior is very very good so again we've gone from breaking out of that range uh, we have the Elliott wave one the two and this big impulse move up on the wave three 2019-2020 and then summer 2020 we've pulled back on what we call a profit taking pullback a wave four and this is this where we were going to concentrate a little bit uh, further on right now let's just zoom in a little bit here so again uh, this is a trend it's a bullish trend it's pulled back uh, but it's a measured pullback so when we look at these three zones here these are fib zones if you like and this amber zone where we are right now Previously, there was a cluster of, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve weeks in this cluster here. So this is a big support zone at the bottom there, and we'll zoom in a little bit uh, with a recent wave fall. We form a double bottom, which is really cool. So when we look at this fib zone, this amber zone, that gives us an eighty percent probability. Uh, that we're going to go on and make a new high, a new a, a fifth wave high. Now, this software is currently, you know, giving it around in the middle of that zone, uh, two thousand two hundred seventeen dollars ish for a gold. I know people are calling for two thousand five hundred. Uh, which it could do this year, but you know this 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 software uh, gives us that predicted zone. So we, you know it looks like with this pullback, it's like a spring coiling. We're ready to go again on gold. Uh, me though, I'm slightly more conservative. Stochastics uh, with a false breakout down here at the bottom is good. We've crossed over in the oversold zone against it, but we didn't get back to the overbought zone. It's come back down again, but. You know, linear wise, we've got this great sort of double bottom support resistance zone where we found right now. We've got a pretty good regression trend channel here on this wave four. So we really can't say that gold is bullish until we break out of this and close above this regression trend channel. So, we're, you know, once we start to get above $1,800 on gold uh, and we close above this regression trend channel, then we can say that, you know, gold is bullish. And a lot of those gold stocks, these gold producers, um, you know, they, they will benefit from their share price, will benefit from that. So gold technically is looking very good for this, for this bullish move. What I want to do now is look at this stock west. Um, okay, so this on the CSE is also an OTC stock, just very recently listed on OTC as well. But I wanted to go through the price action on the CSE because it's been listed a little longer on the Canadian Stock Exchange there. Uh, and again, when we look at trend behavior, this has behaved extremely well. This is the four hour chart. So this is intraday because it's not been, uh, you know, it's not been uh, listed that long. But we've had a nice move up here. And then we've had this wave four pullback, and now we're finding support here. Again, in, it, we're tipping in the red zone, which is 75% probability, and mainly staying in this cluster around this $1.135 sort of area in this cluster. It seems to be holding this higher support zone. We do have an interim sort of short term price of a fifth wave target just under $2 there. Uh, so there, there's, there's some room here. This pullback is measured. 
you know, when we measure it with Elliott Wave, it's uh, it's met all the rules. We're looking pretty good. We know gold is poised for a move up. Uh, this is good value. Again, when you look at that link in the um, description below, uh, there's lots of information about this company. And this company is poised. Uh, this uh, exploration company, um, you know, they've got good funding. Everything's going well. Uh, technically, on the chart, everything looks brilliant. There's interest. There's more volume coming into this stock now. Um, so we're just waiting, really, I think, for the gold price to start to move up, which we, you know, we think it will do with that um, analysis on gold. Uh, and then this, this in theory, will follow because those correlations with gold exploration companies, gold producers, uh, are very, very tight. I've, I've, I've mentioned them in videos in the past. Uh, they do follow gold quite well. If gold starts to spike up, this will just follow. Um, and this, you know, this is poised, this is ready. This, this Elliott wave move, the one, two, the three, the four, uh, the behavior for this trend, this bullish trend since listing it is very good. This support level is um, pretty sound right now. We just need another catalyst to get this to move up with an initial target of $2. Hopefully this helps uh, another exciting junior mining company and um, I'll speak to you all really soon.